love to power fish. I mean, spinner baits, crank baits, jerk baits, fast moving stuff. That's how I've made a living. But I'll just tell you this that a drop shot rig has become a super important part of my arsenal. You know, once I've got fish located, uh, it's just a deadly, deadly technique and everybody needs to, to have this one in their back hip pocket. So if you don't know how to rig a drop shot, I'm going to show you, uh, you know, some of the things that I like to do with it. First off, you want to have a good drop shot hook. This is a must add double wide drop shot hook. It's got a super wide gap to it. Um, you know, comes in a wide variety of sizes because anymore I'm using a lot of different baits on my rig. You know, I may use, you know, a small soft plastic tube, um, a small, you know, minnow type bait, things like that. So this extra wide gap is better for these bigger, bulkier baits when you drop shot. Catch a lot of big fish using oversized baits on this rig. So all I'm going to do is tie a Palomar knot to it. And it's very important that you start from the hook point side first when you start your tag end in. That's going to make the hook stand out on the line. So we start our Palomar knot this way, run it through, give yourself a lot of extra line, run it back through. And I'm using fluorocarbon line with my uh, drop shot rig here, if I can get that through there. You can see in the light here. Got it. Tie nice. You know, big loop to it. The bigger the loop, the bigger the tag end, and that's going to control your leader length. So, gotta, again, nice long loop here. Tie my Palomar knot. Very critical to wet the whole thing when you're pulling it down. So, now I've got this on my line, and I've got, you know, 14, 15 inches behind it. I'm going to take this line right here and run it back through the same way from the eye and by doing that when I pull it tight it's going to make the hook stand out on the line. See how the hook, if you look real close right now, the hook stands straight out with the hook point out right on your line. That's going to make your bait stand out to the side. That really enhances a lot of the action. Very critical important part of your drop shot rig. Then all I've got to do is add my weight and I use two different types of weights. You know, I've got a little cylinder shaped uh, XPS type drop shot weight and I got a tungsten little round weight. And, and the advantages of each are dependent on the type of bottom you're fishing. Uh, you know, if I've got hard rocky bottom, real clean bottom, I like this tungsten weight. It sinks faster and it makes a lot of noise as it's bouncing on the bottom. The problem with it is if it's super thick rocks and things like that, it will hang up a little more often. If I'm fishing snaggy bottom or grassy bottom, this longer, thinner shaped weight right here gives me a lot better uh, contact and, and it's just not going to hang up as much. So if grass and things like that, super rough rock, this style of weight, the tungsten and any other clean bottom situation. And all you do is, you know, just put it on your line and what I like to do instead of just using the clip to pinch it on is I'll tie a little square knot around it too. That way when you got a fish on, uh, it's not going to throw that throw that weight. So just tie a little square knot, pull it into it, and that's there you have it. You take your uh, your bait that you're going to fish with on it. I've got my rig tied now, the hook standing straight out, got my weight on there. You adjust the leader length by how far you want it off the bottom. And you know most of the time when I'm fishing a drop shot rig, I use a fairly short leader. This is this is a long leader to me. You know if I'm seeing a lot of fish suspended way off the bottom, I will uh, you know I may make it three feet long. You know, get that bait up a little higher. Most of the time, I run it pretty close. You know, I use a lot of baits uh, to attract big fish. You know, one of my favorites is this little four-inch caffeine shad, and you can just you know take this double-wide live bait hook and run it right through it. When you rig a bait, a soft plastic, especially a straight-tailed worm, uh, you know, a minnow-type bait like this, very important to make sure that the hook point comes straight out the nose. Just start it behind it and have it come straight out the nose of it. It's going to keep it from twisting your line and it's going to swim much more naturally. So instead of just hooking it right through the whole front end of the body and coming out the top of the bait like you know most people do, again, start that back in there and make it come right out the nose of your bait. If it's a plastic worm, right out the dead center of the nose. You'll see if you drop it in the water, it's going to swim much more naturally and it's not going to spin and twist your line. That is a very critical part of your drop shot rig. This right here, when you've got it down, down on the bottom, does a great job of adding a lot of action. Because the weight is tight down here on the bottom, when you, every time you shake it, it really makes that bait move up there. And that's the advantage of a drop shot. You've got a ton of action, you can keep it in the strike zone for a long time. 
The only thing you have to decide is what size weight to use. I want to use a heavy enough weight just to keep good bottom contact. So if it's windy or fishing real deep water, you may want to use a half ounce weight. If you're fishing in shallow water um, and it's not very windy, you might want to use an eighth ounce weight. So use just enough weight to keep good contact with the bottom for the depth that you're fishing. This is something you can cast, you can fish vertically, you can fish it fast, you can fish it slow. It doesn't really matter because that rig has got uh, tension you know, with that sinker behind it. It just gets tons of action to your bait and that's what drives the bass crazy.